Well, iron ore was the first thing that drove uh, people coming in here for development and then uh, the coal fields and uh, Big Stone, even though it didn't have uh, a local mine right here in Big Stone, uh, the leadership of the biggest coal mines, Westmoreland Coal Company, was uh, here in Big Stone, their headquarters. That drove a lot of jobs and um, so a lot of the people that was investing in Southwest Virginia actually lived here in Big Stone Gap. Our natural beauty is what gives us a lot of puzzle pieces that a lot of places don't have. I mean, the, the nature and outdoor recreation here is just unbelievable. I own a bike shop, Ironwork Cycling, and we sell and repair bicycles and also disc golf equipment, and um, we rent kayaks as well. Uh, I like the small town, I like the affordability here, and I love being in the mountains. We have a really nice green belt, which is about a three mile loop that goes around town and goes along the river. You can walk or bike it. It's the best place to live that I know of. This place in the, in the valley with the mountains on each side of you and the river coming through on each side of you, it just makes Big Stone feel so surreal and so comfortable. It's like you're getting a hug from the community. It's just, uh, just a wonderful place to live. We're just growing. Uh, astronomically now with new restaurants talking to us all the time and uh, we want to be a walkable, pleasurable, fun downtown. Now with those amenities coming and the walkability that we do have and uh, the block parties that we have downtown. My daughter is actually a, a commissioner for a small town in Tennessee and she was up here on July 4th and she's sitting here going, our town is twice this size and we don't have a July 4th block party like you guys are having. We have cultural things like the John Fox Jr. House, the Southwest Virginia Museum. I think Big Stone Gap is going to be a leader in Southwest Virginia for people moving away from big cities to, uh, to come and get a hometown feel. You know, I think people are recognizing that now and coming to find us and there will be a lot of money invested here. And by this time next year, you know, the place will look totally different than it does right now. That's how fast the growth is happening.